Hi guys it's JLite here, and today I'm gonna share things I hate about K-pop. This is not an unpopular K-pop opinions video, but just things I hate about K-pop. I've seen people like Axiostin do things I hate about groups I love, so I did something different. Enjoy and please sub. Thanks. Let's go. The first thing is when idols have to hide their relationships. Like there are idols who could be secretly dating now, and could hiding it because they're possibly afraid of what their fans will think. I hate that most people get so shocked at idols dating. After the idols are confirmed to be dating, I see a lot of people upload videos of the two idols, showing interactions to prove their relationship. Like I see compilations videos and those videos are honestly kinda stupid, because the idols have to hide their relationships, so they could keep their love life private but then they get exposed for their dating and the idols can't hide it anymore. But these channels profit off views of something the idols may be fearing because of their fanbase, and what others would think. I just wish idols in groups would be open enough to share their relationships without getting scared. Because honestly I could care less who's dating who, as long as they're happy. And the topic of relationships brings me to the next thing I hate about K-pop. The next thing I hate is when idols interact with each other which makes people start shipping them together, or people assume idols are dating. Like assuming idols love life is really annoying to me. People shipping idols also annoys me, because y'all think they're meant for each other or something idk. Y'all should seriously get a life. Do something productive instead. These idols y'all ship could possibly be dating and as I said earlier they have to hide their relationships because of what others will think. Shipping idols and assuming they're dating is never any good. Just because y'all see two idols interact in a different way, y'all don't need to jump to a conclusion that they could be secretly dating. And even if they are, why should you care? It's their life. Let them live it. The next thing I hate is when companies create a part 2 and more parts, of a previous song that was popular to get the same amount of views and popularity as before. It sucks when fans wait for a comeback and wait for the amazing title track but all they get is the same boring structure again and again. It happened with Blackpink. It also happened with Momoland. Companies don't care about music as much as they care about the money. It's honestly stupid seeing companies wanting to make a song similar to the group's previous songs just for views. It shows fans that the group doesn't have anything unique about them if they just have one sound and that sound keeps sounding the same. The next thing I hate is when companies especially small ones, don't have any prior knowledge of music mixing and editing and then debut a group with a terrible debut. I for one have seen some amazing debuts, but I have also seen some low quality debuts or debuts that are good but still have a lot of flaws in them. I for one have said that I don't care about an MV, but I've also said that I want a well produced song. Like examples of poorly made songs in K-pop or episodes Open My Door, Holix You Lie, Latiz Thump Thump and Dustin's Burn. These songs are songs I listen to, and if you check them out, you can tell how bad the mixing was. Like the instrumentals of the songs were good, the vocals were also good. But the way it was mixed was bad. Dustin and Holix both come from the same company and both have had bad debuts. With Holix, the company made the song high-pitched leading the girls to strain their voices, and one to two members have nasally voices. With Dustin, even though I've made them my ultimate underrated group I still get kinda annoyed listening to their debut song because of the mixing. Luckily Holix comeback and Dustin's subunit debut songs sounded better. With episode it was the vocals too. Because of its bad mixing some parts sounded like the company just added the raw vocals which they recorded in the studio and then put it into the song with no proper mixing. For Blatty, their song was actually really good. The music the chorus everything. But this song's major flaw was the MV and the vocal editing. The MV wasn't even in a 16, 9 aspect ratio and it was super bright at some parts, and the song at some parts they sounded nasally. And lastly towards the end one of the members hit the high note off key. It wasn't a well vocal mixed song. The instrumental was great though. These songs were just badly mixed. The lyrics and the instrumentals were fine. It was their vocals that threw me off with all these songs. The last thing I hate is diversity in K-pop. 
Even though K-pop is Korean, they still ask train people from other Asian countries like China, Japan, Thailand, Taiwan etc. But they don't really wanna try to get trainees from places like the Philippines, Kazakhstan, Indonesia, with the exception of Dita, Mongolia, Singapore or even brown Asian people from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh or people from places like Dubai, Turkey etc. I just feel like if K-pop loves to train Asians and is open to Asian idols other than Korean Asians, they should try and train Asians from other countries. Like maybe find trainees from all over Asia, because I've seen so many people who want to debut in K-pop or become an idol, but it's likely they'll never get a chance because they're not the Asians K-pop takes and trains. So yeah that's all.